money they party in the bar. I dey want to know the beat. I say a couple to the flex they represent for Wayne Global TV. Nee, so me say you would know the code in the Wayne Global TV is what fully blessed on the 90 days. So me say yeah man to the fullest. Yeah man, make sure them log in to Wayne Global TV. So me say check it out. So me say one couple flex it. So me say Wayne Global. We don't watch you know. See them a plan up and a try to put them on the pan we head. But man a live too long. Them a Wayne Global feed it. To him trouble so smooth that them want him life to dread. I throw the bank a light the milk but we ain't all about the bread. We open up the ears and no listen when we said 'cause we lyrics them so smooth like the linen from the bed. Them want we fit fall, chew we live in pan the edge. I must say true, we make the hits them. We on global TV, we are nine hey, and nine ten. Who judge a blessing? No man can curse. Give me the range of what we drive yes. Boom. We on global TV to the fullest one cup of excellence. See me. Good morning. If you are on the Eastern timeline, good afternoon. If you are on the Greenwich main time, welcome to another of our at a glance program. This morning we are looking at the Jamaican jury system, and not just the Jamaican jury system. Have this debate from time to time. Is the jury system working? Is it updated? Should it be revamped? Should it be abandoned as Brian Sykes would have it? The issue though is this debate will no doubt be heightened after Thursday especially if the decision goes against the Jamaican justice system. The jury system is an important part of our justice system. So if it is working, then one should look at the areas that needs sprucing up and make sure it does. But the further question though, a system, even though the system of law is designed out of or born out of a medieval system, a lot of the outdated bits, such as the jury system, even though revamped and modernized in the UK more than we see it. Um, in Jamaica, but we will develop on that further. Good morning, good afternoon to those on the X, to those on the Twitch, on Facebook, on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to Global Television. On um, tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, today I talk, this evening, Six o'clock your Eastern time, 11 p.m. my time, which is the People's Point of View program. It is the very time that your, what should I call it? Lying, thieving, mismanaging your money, Nigel Clark, 
will be presenting his budget presentation. It is important that we listening to that. It is our money. It will be money disperse various uh for various different things to do various different projects and stuff and the maintenance of our state it is important to listen in so that we can hold them to account when they say this is how much they are putting in here and these are the things that it will be doing so it is important to listening to that also don't forget that thursday evening thursday evening will be the final sitting of the privy council in the vibes cartel versus the king and we will be streaming that um that sitting of the privy council so just a reminder of those two particular programming we will definitely be listening into the budget and that trial good morning good morning all good morning and welcome how are you all doing Thank you for joining us. Elaine Turner, good morning. Mary Messenger TV, good morning. Colleen Humphreys, good morning. Patricia Matthews, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Debbie Jarvis, Sunshine, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To BCA Smith, good morning. Audrey Robson, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to Amazing Grace. Yeah, easy jerk world, man with respect, bro. How are you? Good morning, good morning, everyone. Raymond, good morning. Good morning, Antonia. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, Millicent Jones. Good morning. Good morning, Elaine Turner. Good morning, good morning. Dr. Elliot, good morning and welcome. Good morning and welcome to you all. Monica Hawthorne, good morning and welcome. Good morning and welcome to you all. Thank you all for joining us. Marlene Gordon, good morning and welcome. Marie, Rosemary Samuels, rather good morning and welcome. Millie McBean, good morning and welcome. Good morning and welcome. Thank you all for joining us. Sabina Sudoki, good morning and welcome. Thank you all for joining us. Good morning, Wabit and Teach their Cousin Jamie, Cousin Myrna, good morning, good morning. How are you all doing? Good morning. Have you ever served on a jury? Darcy White, good morning. Have you ever served on a jury and if you're selected uh, to do jury service would it something that you would do or in england here in jamaica as it turns out not a lot of people who are summoned for jury service <coughs> turns up but um in the UK, if you're summoned for jury service, it is a requirement that you must fulfill. You must fulfill. Or you could have medical or whatever exemption, but short of an exemption, and you do not respond, it's almost like a contempt of court. So with the Jamaican jury system, Annie Jones, good morning. Having people not turning up for jury service and not, then that's a failing era where 
it prevent our justice system from working adequately because one of brian sykes argument is that the professionals who uh, stay away from jury service and most of the people that would show up for jury service is your farmers your domestic workers and so on and so forth he's not having this regard to that but he's saying the process we're not having a rounded amount of knowledge when it comes to juries making decision in um in cases and the jury the, the the legal system is quite complex the common law system is quite a complex old medieval system that within a trial you think that you are way back in the days but the the, the, the whole jury system the 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 English legal system was born out of what you call um, trial by ordeal. Trial by ordeal, me and you have a dispute. Those in them hierarchy decide to put we in a field or whatever and we fight it out, battle by combat. But the 12th century king, one of the 12th century king um, sought to more modernize the legal system and then therefore them start using the jury system, not as it is now, because to be a juror then, you have to be a wealthy English man with land, one of the minor nobles, they would call them, um, within those times. So this really get entrenched in the British system, in the English common law system, in the, during the 12th century. Uh, during the King Henry, was it Henry one of them? Well, I think it was one of the Henry um, reign. I think Henry the second. I think Henry the second reign. He more took a major step to develop the 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 the, the, the jurist system. Therefore, when it comes to time um, of the Magna Carta by 1215, that becomes a clause into um, the Magna Carta protecting the right um, to jury trial, really. I think under Magna Carta, that was Article 39, I think. But that's how far back this whole jury system. It's either King Henry or King John, but this is how far the jury system goes back, but it became more entrenched during the Magna Carta era, which is the Magna Carta it would be Britain, my mouse always go dead halfway on me. Hold on, please. The Magna Carta would be Britain's first piece of constitutional document, which most other constitution around the world is born out of that Magna Carta document, whether it be the French um, constitution or the American constitution or those constitution we have as um, Lilith Foster, good morning and welcome. Those constitution we have as constitutional monarchy, 
such as what we are in Jamaica. So we have an entire adaption of the English legal system and the whole common law system, which a lot of it is born out of. Natalia Freeman, good morning and welcome. Over time, the system developed because, as I said, back then, it was, it had to be a white man, minor noble, meaning somebody will have money and property, even they do, though they don't have the status of the aristocrats and the nobles and lords, but you would call those today the middle class, the minor nobles. You would call them today the middle class. So back then, only them could sit on a jury. So, so it's a system that born out of unfairness, classism, and corruption. However, throughout the English legal system, there has been modernization um, done throughout the process where after women have the right to vote and all that women had the right to sit on jury as well. Joan Brown, good morning. All of these things in the legal process comes a long way. One of the issues with jury in the UK, why the overtime development, you have a process where you call jury vetting. When a case, when, when, um, when they're selecting jury pools, they select people randomly from the vote, the electoral register. And they would select a certain poll for a pot for arm. All right, you remember when the cartel case was going on the other day? For that three month period, for about a three month period from January to March, in the Supreme Court, you would have what is called the Hillary session. So if at a lower court that uses jury in the, the um, Crown Court region, they would select a whole batch of jury for the different criminal cases they have set to trial. Georgia Dennison, good morning. From that pool, you do what is called a jury vetting. Cousin Marina, good morning and welcome. How are you? You do what is called a jury vetting where you look into the background of those people who you've selected. So you don't select people blindly, even though you cannot unselect people, biases when selecting them. But you look into the background of people who you're selecting for jury service. One of the reasons for that is to prevent tampering, jury tampering, and all and, and a lot of other things that would come with it. But the jury system has moved on where it's no longer old white men who have land and money. It's a diverse mixture of people on the jury system okay that argument takes away some of the fair the unfairness the unbiasedness the classism um and the racism and all of those arguments that was centered around the jury system but one of the debates of modern time in the jury system is is jurors, is jurors or jurors competent enough to deal with complex fraud, murder, 
and organize criminal cases in front of courts. Uh, James, good morning. This is not a debate that is only being had in Jamaica as the government is about to embark on such a debate. The system, the issue is whether jurors really understand what happens in a courtroom in very complex cases. When, when jurors are, um, are on a case, the honest truth is, as a person who has been in, who has spent six years in legal academia at law school level and all of that, understand how the legal system, the procedures and processes of the legal system works. The require the evidential requirement in a criminal case. The tirade of legal arguments that sometimes happens in a complex criminal trial. Does jurors really understand the complexity of the case? Or another question that always comes up in the debate. Lassam Riley, good morning and welcome. Another question that comes up in the whole jury debate as well is does jurors understand the direction given to them by a judge at the end of a trial? Now, for me who understand the whole legal process, I sat and observed a murder trial for seven weeks. Seven weeks. Most of it, it was a multiple, multiple um, defendants. Multiple defendants. Most of the evidence in the trial were circumstantial evidence. So if you understand the legal system, when it is circumstantial evidence, it is a highly contested legal showdown in court. When the evidence is highly contested, it's a showdown in court of legal arguments or rather a piece of evidence should be admissible or if it is rather inadmissible. Admissible means it forms part of the evidence. Inadmissible means it cannot form part of the evidence because it doesn't meet the bar of the evidential requirement to be submitted um, as evidence to be relied on. So when you have a highly contested case which mostly rely on circumstantial evidence, but within that case, it wouldn't be one piece of circumstantial evidence. It would be circumstantial evidence from um, crime scene, which doesn't 100% provide the um, beyond reasonable doubt. But when you look at your, good morning, Evan Green, when you look at your what you call the same thing? 
your telecommunication data, your cell site data would have placed you on the scene. The messages and conversation download on your phone would put you in a conversation with another person linked to the um, to the scenario. You were seen on camera in on camera in an XY car driving towards the scene. There's so many different little pieces of different circumstantial evidence. And sometimes those go to the court successfully. But it's a lot of little different circumstances that comes together that would paint a picture of the beyond reasonable doubt evidence. So in those type of trials, they are highly, highly contested. Even though that murder trial, after two weeks of deliberation, the jurors came back with a verdict. But it was a highly contested trial. One of the other things with the jury system, even myself, sometimes I struggle to understand judges' direction based on the evidence. Because if you are not following the case from start to finish, at the end of the case, just to be there to listen to the judge giving direction to the jurors, it can be quite a confusing morning, Delroy. It can be quite a confusing situation as well with an untrained legal mind where people are discussing legal jargons, legal principle. They have what is called sometimes a mutant trial where there's a trial within a trial because a legal issue may have a rules and you have to clear the court do you clear the jury at that point i don't remember and i don't want to confuse um you have that trial within a trial so there's a lot of complexity that goes on in a criminal case take for example a um an organized an organized arm. All in broads, good morning and welcome. An organized crime bus involving drugs, guns, and a lot of people. All those convicts, you could go into court and you 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 um six, seven defendants is sitting in the dock. And you have to go through listening to week of weeks of evidence presented against all these different people, contested sometimes highly. And at the end of weeks, the cartel case was 60, how much it is? That was over two months. And after weeks of going through all of that and the end of a trial, a revision and direction, is it better off continuing with a jury service with uncertainty, one, the risk of corruption and jury tampering, coming coming for us in Miranda Rada. Good morning. The risk of jury tampering or should we change that outdated, outdated medieval system to a bench trial? A bench trial is a judge-only trial, but what I wouldn't agree to in complex, highly contested criminal cases, changing the jury system to a bench trial, then the one judge trial system should outlaw where you have a panel of minimum three judges on a 
murder case. That provides more, that, that, that system would even provide more promotion for junior people and more stopping, more employment in the justice system. But from my own personal point of view, this was also a, a problem I had at law school. I wrote essays on this also. I do not agree with the jury system at all. I, it is no disrespect to the human understanding, but it is not just easy to walk into a courtroom having no knowledge of the law or concept or, or um, how the justice system operates and is expected to come to that understanding of what we spend four to six years in law school to achieve if we're going up to master's degree or forever life if you're doing a doctor. I think it's a system that is outdated and risky. Yes, that whole system was also born out of a balance to the aristocracy in the justice system, where the whole justice system was centered around mainly powerful white men, because women had no place in the justice system then women especially in the uk women have only in a couple decades or so have gone to the bar of the justice system lady hale um who retired i think lady similar somebody replaced her but um lady similar was on the cartel case but lady hale was i think the first female justice um, in this country. So the whole justice system, Beulah, good morning and welcome, was designed out of white patriarchy, out of a white patriarchal system. Over time with development and modernization, there are um, improvement and upgrade the British legal system operated in the United Kingdom. It is still a corrupt um, open eye justice as the symbol of justice is blinded. But within the UK, um, justice have eyes, justice see color justice see class so it's these issues are that that we have in our system it is inherent and it is by design and inherent it was designed by the by the british system deliberately particularly to do so and we inherit that system as the effect of slavery and colonization. The issue, though, the issue, though, with us going headways into a constitutional reform. This old, sordid old, what you might call her, you could refer to her as a trollop, as her father-in-law referred to Diana. But currently she's your queen at the moment. But before I proceed, I want to say to William, what happened to Kate William? I wonder if you're cheating your wife like your father cheated your mother. How is your wife 
do it. You are the future king of this country and of the Commonwealth. How is the future king doing? I wonder what is happening in the palace, William, because it looks like you're faking it. This is why I don't like Harry. Can I have you run to save him family? What is the treatment of your wife, Mr. Mountbatten? What is the treatment of your wife, Mr. Mountbatten, your future king of Jamaica? But leave, leave these propagandas aside. Let's go back to Brian Sykes. Because Brian Sykes won the jury system abandoned and done away with. I don't always tend to agree with Jamaican officials, but because of my own personal um, observation of jury services, my understanding of the law and the complexities in legal argument, the rules and evidence, I think it's time for us to move to a bench trial, but with a panel of judges, similar to what you saw in the Privy Council, but a smaller panel, panel of um, Crown Court judges in order to have fairness and balance, because yes, one judge can be corrupt, Three judge can be corrupt, but in everything we have to try to apply um, checks and balances. And with, with the evolving modernization and the way the legal system operates, I do think the jury system is outdated the jury system also used minimally in some civil cases as well so child defamation uh veteran well go on how are you such as defamation and um false imprisonment and what else defamation false imprisonment and a few other things that um jury trial um, takes place as well, but by and large, it's mainly in the criminal, um, the criminal um, justice system. But I do believe the jury system is outdated. I don't think reforming it especially in our jamaican justice system is the best way to go or if you are to do that then you would have to really apply the law by penalizing people who do not um who do not um turn up for jury service Another thing you have to look at as well is people's um, ability to comprehend those legal complexity. Now, in a, sorry, in a country like Jamaica, where Brian Sykes is saying, no disrespect to those people, but the people who are turning up for jury services, these are my words. These are not his exact words. Are the people who are lesser disadvantaged educationally? Are people who are at advantage um, educationally? Beulah, which shooting news are you talking about? Is it the... Oh, hold on. She was walking around with false 
I'm not running on Taurus, the entire right in the air. Okay. Um, so the jury system is an for me an outdated one because in a country like Jamaica, where the system, as we see in cartel case, when we listen, Douglas Allen, how are you? When we listened to the privy, when we listened in to the privy council four weeks ago. We heard the open jury tampering, jury, jury bribery argument, which the court knew about. The court, there are rules for the court to follow in instance such as that. And all of those rules were violated. On Sunday, we will see the arm. Uh, on Sunday, we will see, not Sunday, Thursday, we will see the result of that. Somebody just send me one and I fully done smear. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, hold on there. Honorable counselors, good afternoon. When I hear this, I extend a warm welcome to all here this afternoon to witness the swearing in of our councillors for the different divisions. I hope just may I pick a search for how far that the researcher send me the minute for me to go to find the dunce mayor, please. But yes, the jury system, the jury system in this current Jamaica is not one that is trustworthy it's one that can be tampered with easily so it is for the our entire justice system because it can tamper with judge as much as it can tamper with jury one of the big questions though under this constitutional reform going forward Yvonne johnson under this constitutional form reform going forward with this debate coming up now with the trial pending which we will know where that goes on thursday 19 minutes well on the cause my love here they done seven i mean and if i told me and they're the same class yes. me love the ear they done them all on there when I have to remember that I'm a dunce, you know, so I cherish the dunce people there. Murder. Two sons, Stephen and Helen. I hope I pronounced those correctly because you must have chosen those names carefully. And we have no confidence to understand if there's something behind it. Because when. Pastor Rodney, who I recognize now, said and used the word solemn. I'm not ashamed to say that I had to ask somebody to look up the proper meaning of the word. And in that, I found dignified. It speaks to sermonists. I have never tested my vocabulary with you. And I know that yours is exceptional, Costos. It also says sincere. Well done. And it also says honest, and I move chapter. Please allow him the time to serve. You are going to have to be strong because St. Thomas now needs a gentleman, a male, an individual that's going to set a new direction. The people want it, they have spoken. Costas of St. Thomas, Mrs. Marcia Bennett. Members of Parliament for Western St. Thomas, Mr. James Robertson. Members of Parliament for Eastern St. Thomas, Mrs. Michelle Charles. My fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, and citizens of the wonderful parish, good afternoon. I stand before you today, humbled and honored to be your mayor. This is not just a victory for me but for all of us who believe in community prosperity and unity. As your mayor, 
I pledge to serve each of you with dedication, dignity, and integrity. Together, no, Samit, say that. No, say that again. You can just do the one time. For our generation to come. I believe in potential of our parish and its ability to become a first world. Hold on, the man. You can't just. Recordings just stop. Hold on, the man. Allow him the time to serve. You are, you are going here. to have to be strong. St. Thomas now needs a gentleman, a mayor, an individual that's going to set a new direction. The people want it, they have spoken. Causes of St. Thomas, Mrs. Marcia Bennett, members of Parliament for Western St. Thomas, Mr. James Robertson, members of Parliament for Eastern St. Thomas, Mrs. Michelle Charles, my fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, and citizens of the wonderful parish, good afternoon. I stand before you today, humbled and honored to be your mayor. This is not just a victory for me, but for all of us who believe in community prosperity and unity. As your mayor, I pledge to serve each of you with dig dedication, dignity, and integrity. Together, we will work to address the challenges facing our parish to build a brighter future for our generation to come. I believe in potential of our parish and its ability to become a first world parish which projects such as the new urban center at the old Goodyear factory that is currently under construction. This is the vision of our prime minister, the most honorable Andrew Bonis, and I will work with him to fulfill that dream. I know that I know that we cannot do it alone. We need each and everyone to join us on this journey to make St. Thomas a better tomorrow. I promise the listener to your concern to meet your needs and to put the people of this parish first. I am excited about the work to be done and I am grateful for the trust you please in me. Let us work together to build a better St. Thomas with prosperity for all. I want to thank my family for supporting me. I want to thank the Prime Minister, the Honorable Anchoholis, the Member of Parliament for St. Thomas. My few, my few fellow councillors, the people of the Cedar Valley Division, the people of the wonderful parish called St. Thomas. And most of all, I want to say thank you to God. God bless you. Thank you. Mayor Chen, Deputy Mayor McLeod. Juke them with Jamal. Juke them with the basic school. Juke them with the basic school. How are the blood clot this? How are the blood clot this? That's JLP for you. No wonder why Michael Manley had to implement Jamal. Jamal was a saving grace for the Jamaica Labour Party. Even in 2024, we want, we want to invite Dion. Dion, what's it around that she called? Miss Hunter, we want to invite you, Miss Hunter, to a reading club. I hope the JLP and Marie Vaz have one. We name Dion Hunter. Come, let's read from a buller, Miss Hunter. Darrell Vaz also changed one wedding. Well, what's Sarah that may match? He was called Herman something or other. 
come, let us read an Abula. Let us write up a Abula, then eat. Hmm? Juk them with Jamal. Juk them with basic school. Can JLP are still don't. Good God Almighty. Verna Adams. Good morning. Juk them with Jamal. And juk them with basic school. Mount Golden. This needs to be Paula Shelley. On the general campaign. Juk them with Jamal. Juk them with basic schools because JLP is still dunce. Big letter dunce. Letter. I mean, I mean, I talk about the small letter dunce like producer Wayne, you know. We're talking about big capital letter dunce. Billboard dunce. Jesus. They are your policymakers at local government. <laughs> they are your policy makers at local government. How on earth would one be able to read a policy paper with understanding? Liar! Liar! <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Liar! <laughs> 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 Through the politics of ball and roll politics. Hmm? Jamal school politics. Ball and roll. Big letter billboard dunks. Where does JLP get these things from? Are these the kickback protectors? The those who don't understand their portfolio. They're only there to collect kickback for MPs. What on earth is going on, Elder Fletcher? When you think it's just me and Max, our counselor resent. Our Dion Hunter, who don't want to come to the book club. Our Herman, what was Herman's last name again? Herman is an international dunce. Hmm? If those are in our politics, can you understand those that are in our jury services? This is why Jackie Rockwood, good morning and welcome. We need to become seriously involved in this constitutional reform understanding the current rights we have those rights are rights that should be enhanced or maintained but not touch so you need to get involved in this constitutional reform that is going on and understanding if these people are playing with your rights what would be a what a republic member it was a dunce labor right it was a dunce labor right in the form of marlin Mala who fought who told us about the hybrid presidency presidency half mule presidency half japa marlin Mala who fought would want to have you believe we need to get involved in the process and understand it. It is your current rights. It is the rights that you are leaving for your children and grandchildren. Do you not really care about what your children would be subjected to? Your bloodline would be subjected to in 100 years from now? Do you think if those on the plantation two, um, five, 300 years ago turn a blind eye? I could sit down here, call Camilla Parker Bowles a harlot. I could have never done that. I'll be in the gallows. So this, me being able to call Camilla Parker Bowles a harlot, a cholo, Angela 4349. These were protected in people's blood. 
or ancestors' blood. These things are protected in. Do you want your children to lose that right? The only way you can secure that right. The only way you can secure that right for future generations. is to make sure you understand what you have now. To understand what you have now and what you are doing to maintain them. John, good morning and welcome. Good morning. So we need to get into this constitutional debate understand that i want to remove away from the monarchy i think we should be done with imperialism i really think so imperialism it's a itch for me it it, it really is but we have to get what if we're, we're moving away from that we have to get it right. We have to make sure we have a Jamaica Supreme Court that observe the rule of law. And we have to make sure also that the system of check and balances in the Caribbean Court of Justice is strongly reinforced in order to deliver justice to the people of Jamaica and the people across the Caribbean. But of course, we must be done away with imperialism. Imperialism has not benefited us. It has benefited those who've exploited us. It has benefited the bourgeoisie class who maintain the structure for white supremacy and neocolonialism. It really doesn't benefit us. To what the other things that itches and scratches me is the context of globalization and modernization. Modernization, it is evident that it breaks down the family unit, the community unit, and the country by extension. The whole that we walk around looking down at the phone and we would never even acknowledge each other that's a major breakdown because of modernization. Globalization, if you understand the legal context of it, is just another way for white people to hold on to the wealth of Africa and the Caribbean. Globalization has not benefited Africa or the Caribbean. Globalization benefits the private investors and corporations that continue to hinge and bet and hold on to the rich resources and the wealth and human resources of the Caribbean. So these isms and schisms of the West, these isms and schisms of the West that we are headlocked into, it's time for us as black people globally to look at, look outside the box of Western imperialism and design one in history, culture, philosophy, religion, spirituality, and education that would cater to the need of black people. Enough of this bullshit. Do you want Kate and William to rule you? A harlot Camilla is your queen at the moment. Do you want to be ruled by two students who cannot get their jilt together? This was Global Television. Thank you very much for being at the At A Glance program this morning. We will probably not be here for the Drive Time London, but we will come back to listen to Nigel Clark this evening, 6 p.m. Jamaica time, when he will go on a splutter with our purse. So please do join us at 6 p.m. Eastern time, Navlet Lake. Good, eve good evening, good, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome. And 11 p.m. UK time.
when we will listen to how much they're going to shake or crock us back. Because the, 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 the reason why it is important for us to listen to today's debate from Nigel Clark and the Prime Minister's presentation, I think, on the 21st, there will be a ploy to buy the election in this budget. You will hear promises across the sound system. You will hear promises to do everything but nothing. You will hear expenditures and budget for cars for everything to do nothing. It is important to keep your eye on this budget. This budget hangs in the balance of the conscious political future. This budget, in my opinion, will be a budget to buy next year's election. Let's listen in tonight when Nigel Clark speaks and on the 21st when the Prime Minister speaks. But join us back here this evening. Thank you all for being here with us on Global Television. We hope to see you later. Thank you very much and good morning, good afternoon. Michelle Godfrey on Facebook. Good morning and welcome to Michelle Godfrey on Facebook. Thank you all.